Hi, my love. What's the matter? Hmm, can't sleep. Yeah. I'm just working while I have the inspiration, if you know what I mean. A what? Oh, uh, a new script, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on this one it has to do with the book. Um, but also... Um, let's see. So, where we left off, um, the bad guy was about to attack the sisters. So, I'm working on their dialogue right now. So, like, a script, but that's also going to be in the book, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, no, I think it's, I think it's going to be kind of more them trying to persuade him that they do still love him. Because right now, he's not feeling very loved, if you know what I mean. You know, being kicked out and everything. Um... So, yeah, I've just been, I've just been working on that. Mm-hmm. You wanna, you wanna stay with me? Sure, yeah, of course, baby. I do think you should lay down, though. So, what say you, I switch this over to my laptop and we go get ready for bed, hmm? Sound good? Great. I'll be right there, okay? Alrighty, love. Are you in bed, Cozy? <laughs> you're so cute when you're sleepy. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, I think so. Well, of course I do. So. Are you ready for bed then? You've done everything you need to do. Brush your teeth, your hair, changed your pajamas, took any medicine that you needed to take. Are you still on that one? No, uh, okay, yeah. I didn't think you were, but I just I just wanted to make sure. You know, those are very important. <laughs> Alrighty, love. I'm gonna keep working for a little bit, okay? If you ever want me to pause and you know, you know, stop and get ready for bed myself, then, then you say so, but you said sometimes hearing me work helps a little bit, so. Of course, my dear. Of course I'm gonna help you get some sleep. You did the same for me all those years ago. <laughs> I do remember that story that we wrote together. I actually still have it in my Google Docs. No, why would I get rid of it? I love that story, darling, even if we outgrew the plot. I visit our old characters every once in a while, too. Sometimes I have them pop into some of my actual stories, you know, my headcanons and stuff, but they never make it to the final cut, because, you know, wrong universe, so. Are you, are you ready for bed, then? I know I keep asking that. Um... I suppose we'll get started then, and if you have any questions, feel free to stop and ask. Uh, let me get back to where we were. Let's see. my lovely. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 no feeling bad, okay? I will, I will stop typing and I will just sit here and talk with you. Mm hmm More about the book. Honey, you already know what's happening in the book. You want me to recover? Okay, okay. Well, let's see. 
Um, so where we left off, the two sisters were arguing with their brother, and um, I think shortly after their argument, he's gonna f he's gonna leave, and not come back for a long time. And then when he does come back, is when all of the bad stuff happens. Yes, exactly, all that crap. But, honey, I don't. <laughs> I want you to get some sleep. It's very, very important that you do. Is your insomnia not working? Or <laughs> is your insomnia medicine not working? Not yet. Well, how long does it usually take? A couple minutes. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you want to hear about my day? Yeah, sure, sure. So today I had work for a little while, you know that. Um, and then when I came home, I took care of our pets and I fed everybody. Everybody got food and water and everyone got got their cages cleaned and the stuff and litter boxes and everything. And then I went into town and I had to go to the store. I had a doctor's appointment. So... What did the doctor say? Oh, it was nothing, honey. Just just a routine checkup. Yeah, everything went well. Um, they did say I have to eat more vegetables, but I don't like vegetables, so. <laughs> um, and then afterwards, I did go to the store. I bought these new pants. New pair of sweatpants for sleepy time. And here I am, in your arms. Yes, it was quite a busy day, but I'm so glad I get to come home and unwind with you. Because you are amazing, my love. And you look fantastic, and your body, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on that. Your smile, your laugh. <laughs> when you blush, and when you deny everything that I say about you. I just, I love it. Yeah, I love everything about you. Yes, even that. Yes, even that. Even that, yes. Honey, there is nothing that you could do. Well, I, I, that's a lie. There are a few things that you could do that could cause me to not love you, but there is nothing about you that I could dislike. You have given me no reason not to trust you. You have given me no reason not to love you. And although you think there are reasons, I don't, I don't see them. I see past all of them. Love, I don't think you realize how much you mean to me. We knew each other five years ago, and for five years we denied our feelings for each other, and it was hard at times when I saw you with other people, but I knew I had to let you go. You had to live your own life, and I shouldn't hold you back from that. Just because I'm pent up on the little crush. And after I had that dream that you forced me to tell you about, I realized that those feelings had not left for five years. And although I did get in a relationship, and yes, I did love him. And it was a good relationship, it was healthy, it was our parents that caused us to end, you know, all of the all of the garbage behind all of that, but I still had feelings for you, and maybe that was part of the reason that I couldn't move on from him as easy as I did. Because I love you. I always have, so to see you as someone who didn't love you in the way that you deserved hurt me. And I think at times he got jealous of our friendship. I mean... 
you just, you complete me in so many different ways. We always compliment each other. Every aspect of each other we compliment. We both love to go outside and explore over staying inside and playing video games, even though those are extremely fun. You know, we have the same belief system, and we're okay with anything about the other. It's, it's just a crazy, crazy connection that we have. So, us not being together didn't really make sense, and we didn't really realize it. Well, I didn't really realize it until now. So, being here with you in this moment has always been a dream of mine. And I don't ever want you to think badly about yourself or, or belittle yourself because it's just not true. I know you get all these intrusive thoughts and, and negative things, but they're not true, my dear. They are so, so not true. Because you are amazing, and you are so attractive, and I am so madly in love with you. It is so crazy. my dear. Of course I'm not going to leave you. Why would I ever dream of doing that? <sighs> Look, sweetie, I know some people might not agree, and there are probably people out there who don't want us together, but it is so much harder to be be your friend and love you romantically and not be able to show it to you than it is to deal with their judgment. I think they're just jealous. <laughs> Listen, my dear. I would go above and beyond for you, over the moon and beyond the stars. I would do whatever it takes to make you happy. And in the end, I do hope you return the feelings. I do. But, I can't read your mind. And sometimes, we can't find the words to describe our feelings, and that's perfectly okay too. I'm not going to blame you for anything. But on that note, my dear, we do need to get some rest. You have work in the morning, and so do I. And you're the lucky one who gets to be in the air conditioning. It is quite hot out there. But it's probably because I'm out there all the time. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you got a mean bunch, you know that? <laughs> Just kidding with you, my dear. Or am I? <laughs> you're so cute when you're sleeping. So cute and so easy to pick on. What if I tickled you? <laughs> you're right, you're right. I did say sleep. I did. I stop. I give. <laughs> so. Why don't you close your eyes and think about walking through a meadow full of your favorite flowers, the sun shining down, but there's enough clouds and an occasional breeze where it's the perfect weather outside, it's the perfect temperature. And you're out in your favorite outfit, but you never break a sweat as you wander around this beautiful place, butterflies everywhere. And the best part, no allergies. <laughs> now, picture me running towards you, ready for a huge embrace. 
And that is where your dream is going to start. Because I'm going to meet you in that very meadow. The second you fall asleep, I will meet you there. And we can run away and do whatever you want to do. Does that sound good? They're gone already. I better hurry off to bed so I'm not late, huh?